So we're going to start with the actual box itself. Now this thing is solid. One thing that I was surprised about is how heavy it actually was. Um, it's like it's actually come straight from D6. Um, so we're going to open it. That takes some doing as well. Okay. Now before I just pass the lid away, I just want to show you the back. We have uh, this is the instructions to the Nixie watch. And this is the, um, the famed letter from uh, the author and the Mocha 4A games. I'll pass that over. Right, so inside, here we have the gas mask. Um, again, the quality is absolutely amazing. Um, it's real, it's, it, it looks like you could actually wear this in a, in a real fallout. Um, here's the filter. The filter has a cap that you unscrew. Now I've heard rumours going around that these things actually contain asbestos. I would like to think uh, that the guys down at the Metro Studios haven't uh, given us a genuine one. They've repurposed it. But hopefully we'll never have to find out. Here's the famed lighter, the bullet lighter. Again, everything about this set is is the weight. Um, the weight of it just feels quality. It's it's properly handcrafted stuff. There you go. I've not yet put any gas in there yet, but we'll get around to that eventually. I might have to take up smoking just to enjoy it. Uh, the dog tags now. Um, again, it's solid, really solid, properly made, and uh, they've actually engraved the initials on there, which is a really nice touch, I think. The map, um, this is real leather. Um, quality again feels amazing. There's a lot to be said, especially lately with um, Fallout uh, boxes. I know the quality there has been something to be desired, but this is absolutely phenomenal. I'll be gentle with this because this actually looks like it's come out of Artyom's bag. I'll just show you these from briefly, but we're actually going to have a proper look at these in a minute. Now here's the watch. Um, this is I think probably the centerpiece of the whole box and this is heavy. Um, this I'm amazed how heavy this actually was. Okay. There you go. It is absolutely quality. The, There is the famous watch, um, and the size of it, the thickness, it's its unbelievable. Yeah. That says 2018. So um, there are instructions on how to set the watch, um, alarms, things like this. I can't imagine ever wearing this, but uh, if you wanted to, you could. Okay, so there are the items for now. We're going to have a closer look in just a second. Um, but what I want to say is, it, it's it's just amazing, really. Um, the the effort that's gone into this is is second to none. You see um, special editions all the time, and they're just resin statues or cheap knockoffs. But this is absolutely solid. Um, it's like it's actually come from from D6. So um, right, let's have a look at the items closer. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go through the items one by one. Um, we're going to be starting with the actual um, itinerary and the actual letter. That's the um, Metro Sparta symbol. And the envelope itself, if you look at it, it's, it's been pretty distressed. It's, um, it's really good stuff, actually. So there we go, that's Metro Exodus right there. Now, if I've got any Russian speakers out there watching, I'd like to, to know what that means. Um, I have asked, but we're going to try and find out. Have you seen that? That's number four of ten. Um, so I'm obviously the lucky number four. And there's my initials and uh, date of birth. So that's what I love. It's 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 personalised. It's something really special there. So we're going to open it up. And we have uh, Attention Ranger. Welcome to the ranks of the legendary few. This document certifies that this Spartan's elite kit is one of only ten available in the surviving world. 
approved by 4A Generals and Dmitry Goklowski himself. Every item has been finished to the highest quality for immediate field use. Spartans Elite Kit Inventory The Nixie Watch, an essential tool to ensure your survival in the red zone. The Ranger Gas Mask, warning. Supplies are scarce and you will need to scavenge more filters in the field. Dog Tag, to be worn at all times for identification in the event of death. Recon Map, with handwritten notes from your Spartan leader. Note, misplacing of maps will result in swift disciplinary action. And then the Metro Exodus game, uh, an original surviving copy from 2018. Kalash Bullet Lighter, reliable, durable, true and tested. Proceed with your mission, failure is not an option and always remember, if not us, then who? And that's signed by Andre Prof, uh, the creative director for A Games, and then Dmitry Glukowski, the uh, Metro series author. And that's really nice, it's pretty distressed as well. So we're going to put that back in. Okay, so first things first is the gas mask right here. Um, it's it's leather. It's it's rubber. Sorry, it's real rubber. Um, there's actual seals for it. It's I, th I think I do actually think it's genuine. Um, I'm, I won't lie. I have breathe, having to breathe through it without the filter, and you can feel the valve sucking in and out. Um, it's hard rubber. Uh, it's hard plastic. It's it's been distressed there to make it look like you know it's just come out of a bunker. There's a real strap right here that goes right to your head. And inside, I don't know if you can see from there, we've got the smaller filter there. And that looks like a genuine thing as well, a genuine seal. And nowhere on these things, and, and that's any of the items, can I see made in China, made in Japan. Um, so there, there's no way of knowing where they've actually come from. So they're all, you know, they look genuine. Um, we've got the filter next, right here. Um, that's dented, the paint's worn. Um, it, it, and the weight again, it's the weight of these things, it just makes you think these are expensive. So there's the cap. That's the charcoal filter. Inside, if you can see that, that's the filter. Now, let's see if we can do it as smoothly as Artium can. I think I would have been shot by now. And there you go, and that sound, it sounds so good. Um, that's exactly how it sounds in the game, you know, that's the attention to detail that these guys have. And that is, you know, amazing. And you actually appreciate the, the characters more, and, you know, for running around with these things on, and what people actually had to go through. Okay. Okay, next is gonna be the map. And the map came in this leather case. That's you know, real leather, and it's again, it's the detail. If you can see, that's hand stitched there, all hand done. Okay, now it's said on the inside, these have been hand written notes by the uh, by General Miller, which I imagine is here, and that shows the Aurora's journey across Russia. Anyway, here you go. That's really nice. And it's, it smells, you know, the leather is real leather. And again, it just, to have these things, you know, actually tangible. Um, when you've read the novels and played the games, to actually touch these things, it's, 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 it's just a nice touch, really. I think it's nice that they've done this. Okay. Next is the Spartan dog tag. Oh, you've seen a few of these with the, the Spartan edition. Those are the initials there that they've put on for me, which, you know, it's a really nice touch again. And you see there's nicks and scratches. And it's that attention to the detail that I think, you know, really propels this ahead of everyone else. You know, especially with the, the fallout controversy and the, the bags. Okay, next we have Artyom's Bullet Lighter which is a really, really nice piece. Um, I've seen some people in the comments of other videos that, you know, all they want is this lighter. 
um, before we, you know, we'll light it now. You know, so it is a genuine working repurposed sniper shell. Really good stuff. Um, so in the bottom, you can see the, the bottom of the bullet there. And if we open the top up, there's the hollow shell. And here is the, the working lighter. And I actually put gasoline in this earlier. I wish I'd done it on camera now so you could have seen, but inside they've actually, I don't know if you can see from here, they've actually threaded the cotton wool right the way in and hand filled it. So it's really, really nicely done. And there's even a, a rubber gasket there to seal it. And again, this is just how much detail we're talking about here, is these tiny screws there. Really nice piece. I mean, the lighter alone would have been a great, great souvenir. Okay. Right, next we have the Nixie watch, which comes in this very large nuclear proof capsule now I can actually believe this is nuclear proof the weight of it is is really impressive um, this thing is just solid it really is so let's open her up okay that's the top and um, actually when they pull one of these out it reminds me of pulling a, a warhead out from the movie so here it comes now That's the, uh, there she is. And if you look at just how, how thick it is, that's some amazing thickness. And the actual weight of the watch, it, it, it's still very heavy. Um, so here we have the working blue LED. And that's if, uh, in the game, if you're visible. And if you actually look, it's real electrical tape real wires, real leather strap. It's a really nice piece. And we're gonna light her up now. And these are the Nixie tubes, all the way from Russia. Really nice. Now I haven't actually set this yet, but there's a numerous amount of functions for it. Um, I'll read through some in a minute. Um, the watch, you know, the strap's pretty distressed. I don't think I'm gonna take it off of this. I think I'm gonna keep it, keep it where it is. Um, but it's USB chargeable as well, so you don't need a nuclear reactor to power it. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the Nixie watch. And the glass too, the actual, I don't know if you can see, it's almost like a dome covering it, a glass dome. And the glass itself feels really thick, really thick. Okay, so, let's put that there. This is the instructions that come with the Nexi watch. And inside it's just a few card slips um, in this sort of Metro fashion, like you get in the games. And it's just a run through of um, the instructions, which are numerous. There's temperature setting, um, lag correction, time display, color adjustment uh, for the LED, tube brightness, and uh, accelerometer which is impressive. So that's it, that's the Nixie watch. It's a really nice bit of kit. Um, but that's essentially um, the Metro pack. Oh, one thing I did want to say, um, a lot of people said they haven't received a copy of the game and they weren't giving out a copy of the game with this pack, but I actually received the Aurora edition, um, which again, I'm not gonna do an unboxing for that because there's been numerous ones done, but it's just another really nice, quality item um, and I think you know 4A games have outdone themselves really um, you see special editions all the time and they're 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 nice but the the quality isn't there um, they're mass produced this is the most amazing thing I could have won um, and I'm really really grateful 
and um, I'm really glad that you guys wanted to see it. Um, if you've got any questions, then you know, ask me in the comments. If you want any sort of more details about the items or other pictures, then let me know. Um, but uh, otherwise, we better get out of here before uh, Archim returns. But uh, thanks for watching, and um, see you again.